I'm going to welcome back first off. Thank uh, you. Glad to see you back on the field. It, well, while we've been reporting on a lot of things, there are a lot of fans that have been confused about like your injury and things like that. Can you help us walk us through the recovery process and what you had to go through to get back onto the field? Yeah, I mean, it was a long process, a uh, frustrating one, uh, a hard one. Uh, it's the first time I ever had this kind of injury before. Uh, it was an injury where you had to be extra careful uh, and uh, to take care of yourself in a special way. And I think I understand that it, ra it raised some concerns. Uh, but all I did was to just be careful, uh, trying to come back as good as possible in a good, best possible shape for the team. Uh, it was, yeah, it was frustrating. Uh, I'm fit now. Uh, and uh, I think that's the most important part that I can go back and be 100% and not going back and maybe be at 80, 75, or 75, 85. And uh, now I feel fully fit. I'm 100%, and no one feels more bad than me that it took time. But it was the best decision for 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 me to come back so I can help the team in the best possible way. And of course, it was frustrating to not be with the team all this time to to be able to help help the team. Uh, so I understand the frustration. Uh, I was as frustrated as well uh, to not be able to be there with the team out there. But I'm back now, and uh, that feels good. Uh, in years past, when teams clinch a playoff spot, it's a time to celebrate. I think last year, before you got here, Rebels got in the last day. They were you know, popping mm -hmm. champagne in DC yeah. United's locker or in Nashville's locker room. Just go. You're not going to celebrate, even though you clinch uh, after last game. Can you just talk about in the locker room who kind of stepped up and took the tone of the room and made sure people weren't getting so out of it and letting the emotions like drag them down was there any one player who really stepped up for that no i think after the performance against the nyfc you couldn't have anyone stepped up and be happy about a playoff spot to be honest i think we have to demand more from each other uh, in every possible way uh, we play at the nyfc at home we are 4-1 down in the halftime i think it's unacceptable and i think that was a good lesson for us uh, and it should and wouldn't it can't be happening again. Uh, it was a very, let's say, it was not a bad. It was not a good uh, in the what is it in the locker room at halftime. It was not a good spot to be in. Uh, and I think even after the game, uh, even though we clinched a playoff spot, uh, to be honest, I didn't care about the playoff spot. Uh, I think we we have three games now to improve a lot, to to do things much better, uh, and to to get that confidence back uh, that we had. A lot of times this season, uh, we beat we beat some of the best teams in the season. We played really good football, but we need to come back to that and uh, to be confident. And that's a mentality thing, uh, and uh, it's a thing that you a thing that you gotta show on the pitch uh, and not just talk about it. And uh, I think that was the big lesson on uh, on Saturday that they came to fight and we didn't come to fight and. Uh, you're never going to win games, you're never going to win any playoffs games if you don't come to fight. And uh, that's a lesson we're bringing with us and we need to do better now in the last uh, three games of the season to to create a momentum and uh, also just demand more from everybody. I think we, we, we play that game without emotions, without any intensity. And yeah, we need to do better and uh, we have three games to do it now. Dan on Zoom. Welcome back, Emil. Glad to see you uh, returning to the pitch uh, last game. W what was your frustrations being out for so long with all these draws that have happened, some of these results uh, that did not match the performances? Uh, wh what, do you, what were you thinking on the sidelines to think to yourself, I could have been there too? I think yeah, just the, that the, feeling uh, that I want to be there uh, on the pitch with the guys uh, helping them. Uh, I think we played... Really good, really good football. A lot of games. I think we we beat Cincinnati at home. Uh, we played a lot of good games. We controlled the games. Uh, we dominated the games, but we couldn't score. Uh, and that's part of the game. I think now in the what's important that we create this kind of what I talked about now for the last couple of games. We need that back. We need the confidence. We need the mentality. We need the the dominant side of ourselves back on the pitch because I think if we do that the the goals are gonna come, uh, and the team is gonna create a kind of confidence back, uh, and not think about this kind of draws too much. I think that's gone up to our head a little bit, uh, and we need to get rid of that as soon as possible. Gary on Zoom. 
Hey, Emil, first of all, it was good to see you back rather than in the press row when you were slamming your fist. <laughs> yeah. I was really worried about that. Yeah, no. Um, but <laughs> aside from that, um, being in charge of a young crew, being in front of a young team, and in many cases, you've seen many of them play the games where they've dropped points and everything. Do you see yourself as a veteran presence where you can able to get the guys together and says, hey, I've been through this. I'm going to walk you through this issue and we can all get ourselves some three points. Do you see that coming now with less than two games and, of course, the playoffs, you know, playoffs to come where you can simplify things where they can be more – when they can execute their, play, their plays – with a lot more precision, a lot more be more clinical and such, especially in the final third? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've been playing European top football for 10 years. Uh, I've seen every situation. I mean, you learn from, from experience. I mean, these are young guys de developing every day, trying to be better every day. And and I, uh, I can see I can see that myself trying to improve every day. And we have, we have a fantastic group of guys who want to do better every day. And I think... With everything that's happened this season, I think it's going to give them experience and give them confidence to do better, to learn and to what to do next time. And that's what we are trying as a team to do together now. But of course, I'm trying to do the best I can from my side to help to help the team. Uh, we are a team. We're going to do this together. And uh, I think it's also I understand there's a lot of frustration about the draws and everything. Uh, but if you look at the performance side on the most of those games, we should have won. Uh, it's easy to say now, but I mean, it's important that we as a team keep that feeling, keep that feeling inside our team that we can win this game. We can beat the best teams in the league. And uh, this is something we we do good and I think we can do even better. Uh, but in general, yeah, I mean, it's been a... It's. I'm trying. Everybody's trying. We, we we're doing good. We are. I understand the last part of the season was not optimal. It was not good. Uh, we know that. But we're working hard. We have three games left now. Like I said, to create some momentum, to create some positivity, and uh, to end on a high note. And, and that's what we're gonna do. And uh, and we're forced to do it because that's what you we we gotta do now. And before the playoffs, I mean, it's our responsibility towards the fans, towards everybody. To, 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 to deliver and uh, for me myself it feels good to be back to help the team again on the pitch and not outside slamming the tables uh, so yeah it's a good feeling being back all right last three we'll go Christian on zoom can you hear me now? yes yes Hi, good afternoon email um you talked about mistakes with your experience, um, what do you tell your teammates? How does the team go on um, to be prepared for the future games? And more importantly, when it's more important games like the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, mistakes, individual mistakes is part of the game. It happens to everybody. I think the most important thing is to forget about them as soon as you can. I mean, it happens to everybody. And it's part of, part of your journey in soccer, football in general. You're going to do mistakes. And uh, that's okay. Uh, the, 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 the best thing we can do is just respond better to it next time to learn from it and uh, that's that's what we're doing uh, and I think uh, before the playoffs now uh, it's just important like I said I'm coming back to it but it's just important for us to create a momentum as a team and mistakes is part of the game but in playoffs in particular you have no time to make mistakes uh, you gotta minimize them uh, and it's about sharpness, mentally prepared sharpness, uh, and uh, to be on just in these kind of games, to be a little bit more, can I say, dirty? Play a little bit more dirty. You gotta be, you gotta be a little bit more rough. Uh, and uh, I think that's something that we need, uh, and uh, that we're gonna need in the playoffs as well. Last two, Anthony first. Uh, Emil, you, you have experience in kind of a similar playoff situation. You were part of the two German Cup teams with Leipzig. What can you share with these younger players as to the mentality of those must-win situations to help this team overcome the hump that they've had over the years to be able to get to a final? I mean, m the most important part is actually that 
to come together as a team, believe in our team, in what we are doing. And I think we forgot about that a little bit in the recent couple of games. I think that like the confidence in the team, the confidence with the ball, without the ball, defending with, with your life. I think that's the most important to be there for each other. I mean, the quality that the football that we play or can play, we know about it. But sometimes, like I said, you got to be a little bit dirty. You got to play rough. You got to make that extra tackle. You got to yell at your own guy just to make him a little bit more sharp. I think that's that's the kind of stuff that we got to improve on and do better now as the playoffs is coming because we want to achieve something great together. And I think we have a really good possibility to do that. But it means that everybody got to step up, uh, not just for themselves, for the team. Because if you're your best self, you're going to help the team more. And it's, I mean, it's those kind of things that are important to be together, to come together as a team, believe in ourselves and and what we can do. And yeah, minimizing errors and uh, yeah, push each other. Michael, take us home. Uh, well, your fellow midfielder, uh, Daniel Veneman, he's had a couple of games. You know, he got to wear the captain's armband that's usually around your arm. Last game, he was involved in plays that directly led to some NYCFC goals. Going back to some of the other questions and something that you said during uh, you know media day, during your intro press conferences, you came to this team to really nurture young talent. You wanted to be a leader. What would you, what did you say or can you relate to what he's going through throughout your career and how does someone like him like move on from this? Like you said, forget about it, but mm. is there anything that you can relate to, something that you told him like after that? No, I, I mean, Danny is a bright kid he knows uh, and he knows how good he's been playing this season how many steps he's taken forwards I mean like I said uh, mistakes is part of the journey I think it's just gonna make him better uh, I think it's gonna make him more sharp he knows that now uh, and just be be himself be Danny on the pitch the way he developed go into the duels play forward do the things you know you're good at I mean if you think about the things you didn't do good it's just gonna stop you and block you in your game it's important that Danny also as well plays free, play as he wants to and the way we need him to play uh, because he knows when he's playing his best he's a very, very important player for us and that's that's it. He needs to be free. Don't think about anything else. That's part of the journey. That's part of who you are to make some mistakes in the game uh, and uh, to go just to, to move forward. Play as, play, keep being you. I think that, that, that that's important. Yeah.